Cheers for joining me for another video beer review out in Madeira. This is the second beer I brought over from the UK, as you've seen by the header and the photograph. Um, this is I'm a little bit behind, of course. Um, I have had one can of this just before Christmas, but I bought three cans. I had one then. I brought two out with me. I've given one to my good craft beer friend out here in Madeira in Funchal. Um, anyway, this is another one from Northern Monk, as you already know. It's their festive star. It's their Christmas mocha porter. It's coming in at 5.9% ABV and 25 IBUs. Um, this is a collaboration beer with uh, North Star Coffee Roaster, uh, Roasters in Leeds, Northern Monk. Uh, along with that, Northern Star Coffee Roasters, I guess, are in Leeds. Um, made with a blend of speciality coffees from Brazil, El Salvador and Sumatra. Purchased directly from the farmer to guarantee a sustainable price. Brewed and canned by Northern Monk Brewing Company out of Leeds, Yorkshire, United Kingdom. Uh, the ingredients are water, malted barley, oats, lactose, coffee, cinnamon, nutmeg, hops and yeast. This has got a best before date of the 15th of April 2017. It's in a 330ml can. And that's it. Breathe. Let's crack this boy open then. A little bit late. This is the third year that they've been doing this by all accounts. The first batch was in 2014. I'm guessing the back end of the year. With it being an Xmas Mocha Porter. See, I purchased this not entirely, I can't remember. I've got the receipt on my email. I'll have to put it in at a later date. So it's a very fizzy, can you hear that? Very kind of fizzy head. I had a two finger head, it's down to one and by the time I stop yakking, it'll be half a finger and gone. So into the light then. It's slightly off tan, lightly tan colored head. Mocha. It's jet black. It's absolutely jet black. There's no light bleeding through the bottom. It's a black beer. So it's decent carbonation as you can hear. Let's get an aroma. It's that Christmassy beer. Craft beer. You're picking up the spices for sure. That's one of the main things I'm picking up. Nutmeg, cinnamon. That that they are just well over everything else. In the background, it's more there is coffee there, maybe some cocoa nibs. Not really picking up any kind of sweetness on the aroma. That probably come through in the taste. This is at room temperature as well, so the one I had before was uh, in the fridge, so. I'm going to start to leave these darker beers out of the fridge so I'll get the bang, the quality. I mean, I do like to see how they change from the fridge, but for review purposes, I think I'm going to start taking these bottles out of the fridge. Oh, it smells fantastic. Let's give it a try anyway. Cheers. A late Christmas. It's very smooth. It's got that kind of fruit Christmas cake with a sprinkle of coffee on top. A bit of chocolate. But it's all about spices. It's more spicy than, than coffee. But then it's a Christmas beer, you're going to get that. It's very easy drinking for a 5.9%. It's a really well made beer. You're definitely picking up the cinnamon. Nutmeg. The coffee's more coming through now. Let's pull the rest of this in. It's not gonna 
cloud it up as it's a dark beer. But it'll be a try and reinforce that head. It's definitely got that lovely Christmas vibe. There's a slight warmth from the spices, not the alcohol. It's just that kind of, it's a very kind of filling beer. It's quite, it's probably the the upper end of medium bodied. It's not one of them gloopy, you know, that takes its time to the, you know, the waves of the beer in the glass. It's not one of them. It, 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 it's, it's just bang in the middle, it's pitched really well. It reminds me it's got the uh, the cloak. When I was young, my nan used to make fruit cake all through the year. And I was, I was around all these kind of Christmassy spices every weekend. It was just embedded in my, in my brain. This has actually got quite a lot of carbonation. There's a, like a round hole in the middle. And then the bubbles are coming up right through the centre. And it's creating this like ripple effect. So it's pushing all the flavours around all the time. Imagine that in your, in your mouth. It's, it's pushing all around the sensors of your mouth down the back of your throat. It's really good. It's got like a an aroma of not. It's got that kind of not liqueur, but that kind of like someone's thrown a bit of something else in it. Maybe some. Sherry. I can't remember what you what you put on a Christmas cake and then you light it. Brandy, I think. It's got that edge to it. Just keeps it mm, interesting all the time. Works really well with them kind of dark fruits as well, I forgot to mention. It's got that kind of raisiny figgy date that kind of thing going on. It's a very, very nice beer. Definitely a seasonal beer. It's not something I would want to drink all the time, but yeah. It's very smooth. Oh. Not picking up the IBUs as you wouldn't really. It's all about the flavor and the mouth feels. It's not bad. I prefer a more of a, a smoother kind of Fuller bodied mouthfeel to my, you know, to a porter, but or an imperial porter. But this is this is very good, it's doing the trick. So, as for a rating, then uh, it's definitely an A beer. I'm going to give that an eight and a half out of ten. That's an eight and a half out of ten for me. It's about 92.5, 93 out of 100. Um, so yeah, the, the ratings on. Excuse me, on Untapped are 3.77 out of 1,120 ratings, so that gives you a kind of standard. This beer was added on Untapped on the 16th of December 2014. And over to uh, Rate Beer, it's given it well, a bit lower in the style. Um, 60 in the style, 74 overall, which is it's, it's just not... It's, it's a better beer than that. But anyway, that's out of 24 ratings, so not liking it as much as me. Um, one more taste. I'll bid you farewell. Um, I've probably said it in other reviews, but I'm going to sprinkle these out so it's not all Portuguese. I've got like another two beers from outside of Portugal to review. Cheers for watching. If you've had it before, let us know. And I'll see you on the next review. Cheers.